Will fumbled in his pockets for his keys, then set the barrel of soot aside. He went down the three flights back stairs to the basement and the laundry room, unlocked the door, and took hold of the sledgehammer that leaned against a wall. Walked out into the fence backyard, raised the hammer high above his head, came down hard on a disfigured television. Once an escape, now his release. As he raised the hammer again, he could hear the wax dripping on the newspaper under her small feet. Chapter 17 In the early afternoon, he gripped the phone in his hand, dialed, and Bella picked up on the second ring with a weak, waking hello. You have my everybody knows this is nowhere. You again. Can't stand a minute without me, eh? So I need it. I need Neil Young. Come and get it then. You know something? What? Fuck you. Don't forget to unlock the door downstairs. Her building looked different to him this time. Tucked back from the road. A dirty white three-story box that wanted to hide from the world. Stood frozen to the dead stare of the miserable chain Rottweiler in the fenced-in emptiness of the stinking mud lot beside the road. Who locked the door, Cujo? The black and tan head turned slow to the feast of freedom at the edge of hell. He walked around the building that looked like it had been spray-painted in dirt and pushed up on the fire escape stairs to dislodge the two-by-four that held them horizontal. They fell, and he climbed three black iron flights and scared heaven and hell out of her from her window. She didn't look good. She asked if he had come back last night. Someone had tried to break into her apartment. She swore. She didn't feel safe. Her landlord said he would get her a new lock for the door. Had promised her and promised her. Can I ask you a big favor, she said. I'm not staying over, he said. But I can't be here alone tonight. I can't help you. What do you mean? You don't care, don't you? I guess I'm just like the rest of them. The rest of who? If it's about last night, Will, I'm sorry. I was uncomfortable. But when you left and I was alone in my bed, I was angry at myself. You were so kind to help me with my project. You know I love you. You love playing with my head. Just because I won't make love to you, is that why, you shallow boy? Come here and hug me, please. I feel like I haven't seen you. Will backed away. Now you know how I feel. She looked hurt, but still approached him. Poor boy, she said. I'm sorry. She hugged him. He obliged her, put his arms around her to give her the illusion of warmth. Then she pulled him down to the couch where color drowned in the glow of her and kneeled over him on the soft cushions. It wasn't always in bed, on the couch, or in the car. It could be a dressing room shuttered off from circular racks of clothes, polished floors, and pipe music, or the park bench overlooking Lake Michigan their pulses sustained at high speeds on his bike, her hands slicing over his thighs in the wind. He wanted her and envisioned it all in fantasies. But this was no dream.